Hi, in this video series, I'll be going to solve the basic MCQs related to the soil mechanics from the Diploma in Associate Engineering DAE chapter number 1. Let's start multiple choice question number 1. In question number 1, size of the gravel defined in mm is option A is 4.75 mm to 76.2 mm, option B is 0.2 mm to 4.75 mm, option C is 0.002 mm to 0.2 mm, option D is 76.2 mm to 102.5 mm. There are different types of soil classification with respect to the particle size. According to this type of classification, the gravels lies between 4.75 mm to 76.2 mm. Option A is the correct option. In second MCQs, it is given that size of the sand is defined in mm is. As we have seen, in the particle classification of soil, size of the sand is in between greater than 0.075 mm and less than 4.75 mm. So the correct option is B. In MCQs number 3, it is given that Y ratio E is, is determined in, in soil sample by volume of Y divided by vo total volume. Option B is volume of Ys divided by volume of soil solid. Option C is total volume minus volume of soil solid. Option D is dry volume minus volume of soil solid. As we know that the Y ratio is the ratio between volume of Ys that is the open spaces that is airs and water divided by volume of soil sample. The correct option is B. In MCQs number 4, porosity is determined in soil sample by the amount of spaces in a rock or soil describes its porosity. The more porous the material, the more water it can hold. Porosity is equal to volume of voids divided by volume of soil. The correct option is A. In MCQs number 5, relation between void ratio and porosity is expressed as, as we know that, Porosity is equal to volume of voids divided by volume of soil sample. Total volume is equal to volume of soil plus volume of voids. By putting the value of total volume in this equation, we will get volume of void divided by volume of soil solid plus volume of void. Divide the nominator and denominator by Vs. We will get porosity is equal to void ratio divided by 1 plus void ratio. Rearrange this equation, we will get porosity divided by 1 minus porosity. Correct option is A. In MCQs number 6, the relationship between porosity and void ratio is expressed as, as we have already derived the relation of void ratio and porosity, the correct option is D. In MCQs number 7, degree of saturation is expressed as, the degree of saturation is the volume of water to the volume of voids. The correct option is C. In MCQs number 8, Dry density is expressed by dry density is the ratio of weight of one dry soil per unit volume. The correct option is A. In MCQs number 9, dry density of the soil mass is expressed by moisture content is the indicator of the amount of water present in the soil. So moisture content is equal to mass of water content in soil divided by weight of one dried sample. Add one to both sides of the equation. 1 plus m is equal to weight of water divided by dry weight of soil plus 1. Take WD as a LCM of right side, we will get 1 plus m is equal to weight of water plus dry weight of soil divided by dry weight of soil. As we know that dry density is equal to dry weight divided by volume. Separate dry weight from the equation, we will get volume multiplied dry density. By putting the value of WD in into the equation, we will get 1 plus m is equal to w divided by volume multiplied by dry density. Rearrange the equation and separate the dry density, we will get rd is equal to weight divided by volume multiplied dry density multiplied by 1 plus moisture content. Separate the weight per unit volume from this equation, we will get dry density is equal to weight divided by volume multiplied by 1 over 1 plus m. So the dry density become weight density multiply by 1 divided by 1 plus moisture content. The correct option is C. In MCQs number 10, moisture content in a soil sample is expressed by, as we know that moisture content is equal to mass of water contained in soil divided by weight of one dried sample. The correct option is A.